Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Frederick County Public Library's daily virtual story time. My name is Miss Erin, and I'm going to start today's story time with the same song that I start every story time with. So you can sing along if you know this song already. It is the Hi Hello song. If you don't know the song, we're going to sing it two times so you can listen the first time and then sing along on the second time. All right, so I'm going to start singing. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? On this happy day. All right, are you guys all ready to join in and sing along? We're going to sing at the count of three. One, two, three. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you on this happy day? Very good. Go ahead and give yourself a round of applause for singing with me. And now we're actually going to sing another song because I woke up this morning craving some delicious fall apples for breakfast. And I found a really fun song to sing while I ate them. Um, this song goes like this. I will sing it two times again so that you can learn it the first time and then sing with me the second time. So here it goes. This is my Apples Apples song. Apples juicy, apples round, in the tree or on the ground. Apples yellow, yellow apples red, apple pie and juice and bread. Apples crunchy, apples sweet. Apples are so good to eat. That was a really long song. We might sing that song three times just in case, but let's try it. Are you guys ready? You can sing with me. Apples juicy, apples round, in the tree or on the ground. Apples yellow, apples red, apple pie and juice and bread. Apples crunchy, apples sweet. Apples are so good to eat. <laughs> that was a really long song. Maybe we'll sing it one more time to see if you guys got it. Ready? Apples juicy, apples round, in the tree or on the ground. Apples yellow, apples red, apple pie and juice and bread. Apples crunchy, apples sweet, apples are so good to eat. Very good. Now you might have guessed that I wanted to sing that song also because I have some apples with me today and I have three different colored apples. So I have green, red, and yellow apples today. And one of the things that I like to do when I have things of a different color is make them into a pattern. Now, if you guys don't know what a pattern is, it is when you have a group of items, such as apples, and you make those items repeat themselves. So, for example, I have a yellow apple, a green apple, and a red apple. And if I want to turn this into a pattern, I simply have to start again with my yellow apple. And then which one comes next? If I'm making a pattern and I have a yellow apple, a green apple, a red apple, and then I start again with a yellow, what comes next in my pattern? Hmm. Can you guys guess? Say your guess out loud. I want to hear it from where I am. If you said a green apple, you were right. And if you didn't get it that time, that's okay. Maybe we'll guess it with the next apple. So if I'm making a pattern and I want to repeat my little sequence here, and I have a yellow apple, a green apple, and a red apple, and I want to repeat it with another yellow, another green. What apple do I need next? Hmm. What's going to be the last apple in my pattern? Hmm. 
That's right, it's going to be another red apple. Awesome. Very good. So this is my pattern. It goes yellow, green, red, yellow, green, red. Very good. Apple trees in the garden grew. Each had apples for me and you. Red and green and yellow, too. Apples, apples, all in a row. What comes next? I bet you'll know. Let's do another pattern. Let's say this time I want my red apple to come first. And then I want my green apple to come next. And then let's do yellow. All right, so this is a different pattern. I'll give you guys a hint. If I want to do a red, green, and yellow pattern, the next apple will be red. Which apple should come next? That's right, it's going to be a green apple. And then what should come after that? Hmm. It's a yellow apple. Very good. All right, we're going to do one last one. It's going to be a little bit tricky. All right, we're going to do two red apples and a yellow apple. So if my pattern is red, red, yellow, what apple would come next? I'm listening for your patterns. <laughs> red, red, yellow. I want to make a pattern. What apple should come next? Probably a red one. Oh no, what's different about this red apple? Oh my goodness, it's been eaten all up. Ugh, how silly, but we have to finish our pattern. So what should our next apple be? If I have red, red, yellow, and I have Another red apple. What's next in my pattern? Oh my goodness, it's another red apple, but this one has also been eaten. Oh my goodness. I think our last apple has probably been eaten too. What's my last apple going to be? If you said yellow apple, you're absolutely right, except this one's been eaten too. Oh my goodness. I think that I... I'm going to run out of apples, and they're all going to be eaten up, so maybe it's best if I put them away for now. So I'm going to put my apples away and bring out our story time book. So, because it is the start of December, I wanted to read a book about winter. But it's not quite cold enough for winter yet. This book is called The Very Cold Freezing No Number Day. And it was written by Ashley N. Sorensen and illustrated by David Miles. You can see their names on our front cover here. Now when I open up this book to the title page, this is our title page. I can see here on the side that this book was published by Familius LLC, and we want to thank Familius for letting us read their story in story time today. So thank you, Familius. This is the very cold, freezing, no number day. Help! Oh goodness, I wonder who's calling for help. Help! Who do you think that could be? Oh my goodness. Let's turn the page to find out. We're numbers! Can you guys shiver like a frozen number? Brr. Ooh, it's very cold. Look at these numbers all wrapped up in ice. No one is counting. We've been forgotten. 
left out in the cold. Oh, these poor numbers. No birthdays, no growing, no clocks. Unless we warm up, time stops. Uh-oh. We have to figure out how to help these numbers. Quick, help us warm up. Count every number on this page and see what happens next. Are you guys ready to count with me? It's kind of hard to see these numbers, but I think we know how to count to four. Can you guys count to four with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. Oh my goodness, what happened? Look at that, the ice has melted and we're a checkered mix of blue and green. We've stopped shivering and new grass is growing. Keep counting, it's working. So we have counted to four already. What comes after four? Hmm. All right, let's think. Maybe we should start from one again to help us figure out what comes after four. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five comes next, and then after that, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. Let's see what happens now. <gasps> wow. Amazing! We are sunshine yellow and all kinds of things are sprouting. If you trace us gently and count us aloud, we'll warm up even more. Give it a try. So if you guys can, if you know how to write your numbers, you can write them in the air now. Or you can just hold up how many fingers we're counting with, okay? So last page we counted to eight. Let's count Nine. Can you hold up nine fingers? It's hard to do with a book in your hand. Nine. Ten. Uh-oh. We're running out of fingers. Maybe use your toes. Eleven. Twelve. Awesome. You've done it. We are tiger-striped orange. This time, after you count us aloud, Give us a gentle blow of warm air, just to see if it helps. Can you guys practice blowing your gentle blow of warm air with me? Ready? Awesome. All right, so we'll do that after we count. We're counting 13, 14, 15, 16, now blow. All right, let's see what's going on now. Oh my. Here's an idea. Try all three. Do you think you can count us out loud, trace with your finger, and blow softly? Try it and see. We're getting really high up this time now. So. If you can, trace the numbers in the air, do it. If not, I think we'll be okay if we just blow gently after we count. So, we ended with 12. Next comes 13, 14, 15, 16, and blow. Amazing! It's working! Keep going! All right, let's count again after 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, and blow! <sighs> you did it! You did it! We are red hot. You saved us all from a very cold, freezing, no number day. 
Fantastic! And we have new numbers now. Let's count after 16 comes 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh my goodness, we counted all the way to 20. Can you guys cheer for yourself? Hooray! Look at all these numbers celebrating. You did such a good job counting. Fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause like this. That was so great. Thank you guys for joining me for our virtual story time. Tune in tomorrow for another great story time.